Hey everyone, Mandy Lee here. We are so excited to be at the New Camp Factory in Sugar Creek, Ohio. And we have some news that you have all been waiting for. The Barefoot Camper is finally in production. Now we've given a few tours before, but we're gonna do one more tour. But this one's different because it's gonna be complete with specs and everything you wanna know. Before we start this tour, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video or leave a comment below. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at the final production model of the Barefoot. Let's start on the outside. Of course, we have to address, first of all, the beautiful aesthetic of this camper. It is made of a fiberglass shell, which at the start is going to come in this beautiful sea glass color. They've included some very appropriate graphics that kind of go around the window. Now, one of the things I think really makes the look on this camper is what they call the baby moon wheels. I don't know why they call them that, but I love them. These are 13 inch tires. And while I'm talking about tires, don't forget the camper also comes with electric brakes. Now, a nice thing they've done with this fiberglass shell is incorporated a lot of the things we need. So along the top, they've molded in a spot for a Keter rail, which is included. And that Keter rail is gonna accommodate any future awnings that might be made specifically for this camper. And moving around the side, there's two outdoor 110 plugs. There's also these nice sturdy metal handles, which believe it or not, is gonna really help you to maneuver the camper if you wanna move it around in a campsite. Moving forward to the tongue box, this is another one of my favorite things. They have made room for two 10 pound LP tanks and they both fit in and they're enclosed. And then best of all, the spare tire is gonna fit inside the tongue box as well. That means it's gonna be protected from the sun and it doesn't hang down underneath your camper so it's really easy to get to and it's very well protected. On top of that they've added an extra compartment right in front of the tongue box where you can store anything you want to store but honestly it seems like a perfect spot to put that gray hose that you might have to carry with you. Moving on around the back so the front compartment on the driver's side is going to be our Nautilus water system. The cool thing is when you open the door the light has a sensor to where it pops on right when you open the door. The Nautilus water system is gonna include everything you need to fill your tanks, to winterize your tanks, to turn on and off your hot water, and it's a very simple system to use. Right next to the Nautilus system is our standard 30 amp plug. Now the back driver's side panel is going to give us access to the cassette toilet. And the great thing is both the Nautilus panel and the cassette toilet panel both lock. So in here we will find our five gallon cassette toilet tank, which is really handy because once it's full, you can just pull it out. It's got wheels on one side and a handle on the other side. So it's really easy to cart off and empty in a toilet or any campground dump station that you can find. All right, so the next thing to do is go on inside and take a look. So inside this camper, the general layout is towards the front of the camper, we've got the bed and dinette. It's followed by the kitchen, at the, at the back end, we have the bathroom, and then we have this beautiful storage area. So let's start with the bed and dinette. Here we have the U-shaped dinette with a nice long rectangular table. I think you could very comfortably see four adults here, and you could, in a pinch, probably also seat up to six. Now, I know I have the shades shut, but that's because we're sitting in the factory, but the windows are dual pane windows, and the shades you can have either as a privacy screen or you can have it as a screen with airflow or you can have it completely open. The windows also open and they have a lock to latch them just cracked open which is also really convenient. Now I really love this large front window. The front window comes with these curtains that have grommets on the top and bottom 
So if you wanted to make your own custom curtains, it probably wouldn't be that hard, but these are really cute too. They're super easy to just open and close. Now you can see why I had them closed because of our view out here. But just imagine if we were in the mountains, how great this would be. These large windows bring in so much light into this space that it just opens it up and it feels airy and wonderful. So one of the best things is the outlets that they've put in. You can imagine as this would be a bed, you would have USB outlets on both sides of the head of the bed and at the foot of the bed. You also have 12 volt and 110 at the foot of the bed as well. Although when it's made up as a dinette, if you're anything like me, you constantly want your phone and other toys plugged in. So there's just lots of access to USB 110 and 12 volt here. And finally, the two LED reader lights located here and here. They're handy when you're laying in bed and you want to read at night, or even if you're sitting up at the dinette doing some late night work, if you're anything like me. Now I know a big concern is sharing the dinette space with the bed space and having to switch that in and out. But I want to show you just how quick and easy it is. So there you have it. It took me less than 60 seconds, 59 to be exact, to set up the bed and put the table away, which let me show y'all something. I know in my previous tour video, I did not know where the table went, but I now know where the table goes. In this closet here by the side door, they have made a holder for the table with a really quick little latch and also a holder for the the pole of the table. And just because I am going to put the table back now. Let's do it. <sighs> so as we move back from the dinette bedroom area, we see our lovely kitchen. In our kitchen, we have a sink right here, which is quite deep for an RV, and it's got a uh, foldable faucet there. So that's really nice. Next to that, we have a two burner gas stove. It's really large, lots of room right there. There's also this nice rack, which I can imagine I would put spices in. Below the stove is another really large cabinet with a shelf, perfect for a pantry to store whatever you want in. There's also a drawer under the sink, really good for utensils, silverware, etc. And then below that is a 12 volt refrigerator. It's an isotherm refrigerator. It's very efficient with the batteries. All right, directly behind the kitchen, you'll see a couple of storage areas, which is awesome. Uh, first up here, we've got this kind of little, these pockets where you can just keep random goodies. We've got another cabinet there. We've got another large cabinet below that, which again has shelves. And my favorite is right when you walk in the door, to your left, there's this tall closet, kind of feels like a coat closet or something, which is also again where that dinette table stores. And below that is another cabinet, which you could literally keep anything in, but kind of feels like a good spot to put shoes or muddy boots or something like that. So I really love all that storage space. All along the top of this camper, they have put um, these beautiful shelves that stay kind of open. We've got frosted glass above the kitchen. They're accented with lights. It really just helps you be able to see anything you store up there and keep the storage area feeling bright. And while we're on the topic of storage, my final favorite storage place has got to be the built-in wine rack right by the front door. Of course, you can put anything round and cylindrical shaped you want in there but I'd recommend wine. And finally, at the back of the camper, we find ourselves in our luxurious bathroom. I am currently sitting on the commode, which is, um, as I mentioned earlier, a five gallon cassette toilet. There's also a sink in the bathroom separate from the one in the kitchen. There's a heating element in here as well, so that when we have our heat on, it's also gonna separately heat the bathroom, bonus. Finally, we do have a shower head here, which is retractable. It's basically the sink head comes out and turns into a shower. 
Now the convenient thing is, if you're short like me, you can go ahead and stand and take your shower. And if you're tall, you can sit down and this whole bathroom acts as a wet bath. Also, if y'all didn't think about this already, we've got this window which goes right out the back of the camper. So you can open this window up, you can stick this really long shower head out the back and you can take yourself a nice roomy shower outside. And of course we all need to store all of our toiletries and accessories and things like that. Right behind the bathroom there are two nice large storage cabinets, one of which offers really easy access to the glycol. So when the glycol needs to be changed out it's right there easy to access. Now let's talk about these three panels in the upper corner of the kitchen here. We're going to start with this black panel, which is simply a tank level indicator. So you can see how full your fresh, your gray tanks are. And also it's a power switch for your water pump. Next to that, you will see the controller for your air conditioner. Yep, this thing has air conditioning. It is ducted throughout the camper. So you will find vents like this in a couple spots throughout the camper. Next is the Aldi controller, which is the controller for the hot water and the heating system. It's a radiant heat system, so there's coils throughout the camper that will radiantly offer heat, and it's just so comfortable and easy to use. All right, now that we have had a walkthrough of the camper, let's talk about something we've never been able to talk about before, which is the specs of the beautiful barefoot. All right, let's start with our tank sizes. Our freshwater tank is gonna be 23 gallons. The gray water tank will be 17 gallons. And instead of a traditional black water tank, there's gonna be that cassette toilet, which is a five gallon cassette. Next, let's talk dimensions. The interior height of the cabin is six foot one inch. You tall people are gonna love that. The exterior height of the camper is eight foot one inch. The exterior width is six foot six inches. And the exterior length is 16 feet and seven inches. The barefoot will weigh in around 2,100 pounds. And finally, while I don't have an exact number for you, I think the MSRP is going to come in in the mid 40s. Well, they say good things come to those who wait, and we're certain good things lie ahead for you future Barefoot owners. If you are curious about the story of how the Barefoot came from the UK to the US, please check out the recent video in our YouTube channel, and that will tell the tale. So. Here's to being barefoot and worry-free. Love and light.